Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share some recent purchases from Sephora. I wanted to refresh my makeup and there's also a lot of brands that I've been wanting to try that I haven't tried yet. I honestly have made a concerted effort in the past year to use up products before repurchasing as much as I can and also just cut down my buying stuff just for the sake of buying stuff with not only makeup but home decor, clothing, everything. That being said, I wanted to mainly focus on products that I know I'm going to really enjoy, that I love, formulas that I really enjoy, and also newer brands, especially from the clean beauty and planet positive realm. Not everything I'm going to show you is clean, uh, clean brand, but that's just kind of what I've been more drawn to these days. So why don't we go ahead and get started. The first thing I pulled out of the box is this Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen SPF 36 randomly enough and I will admit I do need to step up my sun protection game. If I'm on the beach I am slathered head to toe in sunscreen. If I'm wearing makeup usually my skin tints have a little bit of SPF in them so I'm good there but it's those in between days where I'm not wearing makeup and I have to quickly run out of the house or something and run a quick errand that I don't usually have sunscreen on and I know that's terrible to say but it's just the truth and I recognize that and I know I need to get better this feels like it's going to be amazing it has a really soft really nice feel and I actually like the scent it has kind of like a sweeter sunscreen scent and this one is water-based sunscreen with sunflower seed oil that delivers a refreshing dewy glow okay and then I got two products from Merit which is one of the new brands that I mentioned that I haven't tried yet. I got the Merit Flush Balm Cheek Color, and I figured this would be a safe buy unless something goes completely off the rails with the formula and I end up hating it. I can't imagine that I won't like this and get good use out of it, and also just judging from the reviews on the product. It was a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be, I'm not going to lie. But I do like the packaging. Um, the only thing I'm a little concerned about is I'm probably not going to be dotting it right onto my face because I'm worried that this might pull away from the component when you're applying it because it's such a shallow pot. But maybe there's more to it than meets the eye. This is in the shade Terracotta. It is a beautiful like sun-kissed, oh my gosh that's really pretty, sun-kissed rosy color with a lot of glow to it. And it looks like that perfect kind of bronzer color, just a mix between a blush and a bronzer. Very excited to try that. Looks so glowy and hydrating. And then I had to try one of the shade slicks, the tinted lip oils. This is in the shade Marrakesh. And I do remember seeing that they said it's a long wearing lip product, which I was surprised because I feel like a lot of times the lip oils or sheer glosses don't tend to be too long wearing. I'm fine with reapplying throughout the day if needed, but I mean, it is just a nice feature to have in a product. This is, I thought this would be more of a brownish, nudie peach color, to be honest, but it almost looks like more pinky than I thought it would be. Mm, oh, that's gorgeous. My bang, guys, is just not cooperating today. Um, but this color is stunning. I think even with like a darker brown lip liner. Mm. I just love the way it sits on the lips. It's not... It doesn't feel like it's going to slide off right away, which I am happy to see. I also picked up two new products from Say, which is a clean beauty brand and also a planet positive brand. So I think that's wonderful. And I really love the packaging here too. Just fair. I don't know. It's different. And I appreciate that. <laughs> so I got the Sun Melt Bronzer and I got the shade Medium Bronze. So this is a lightweight whipped cream bronzer that creates a sun-kissed velvety finish and it actually smells really good oddly enough mm, it has like a soft sweet smell and I think that is due to the oat powder and it also has plant oils to nourish the skin I got medium bronze but it actually goes on a lot more sheer than it lets on so I am really excited to try that one that looks like it's gonna be great and then this one is the say glowy super gel dewy illuminating fluid this is the shade star glow so it's a universal champagne shade i believe they described it as lightweight multi-use illuminator to use all over the face or mix in with foundation i was imagining and hoping this would be sort of a bouncy gel luminizer that gives you that golden hour type of glow i did get the smaller size because i rarely ever go through an entire bottle of 
liquid highlighter. So, okay, this is exactly what <laughs> I was hoping for it to be. This looks a lot like the Glossier Super Dew, except in more of a pearly, yellowy color. And it looks like it's going to be so gorgeous. And again, more of a finish than a color. It does have a slight champagne undertone to it, but that looks like it's just gonna look so natural. And okay, so the scent of this one is a bit different than the Sun Melt Bronzer. I feel like it does have a bit more of a fragrance to it that is interesting smelling. But also not strong enough to where it would deter me from using it. So I also did a little dabbling in Kosas. I don't think I've ever tried anything by them either, to be honest. <laughs> Have I? I got their Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer, the Revealer Concealer in the shade 2.5C. I do just love their packaging and like the aesthetics of this brand so much. It's been a dark and stormy time around here since my Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer got discontinued. I don't know why I keep this around, it's completely empty. I think I'm just like trying to manifest that they'll bring it back. Benefit does claim that their newer concealers that replace this one is the same thing. It is not the same thing. It does not have the same pink correcting tone as this one did. Um, they're just skin tone shades. And if you go on Benefit's website, there's dozens, like honestly, like hundreds of reviews of people being like, please bring it back. It's not the same. That was a game changer for my under eye situation. And it, honestly, I just looked exponentially tired ever since I ran out of that. So I'm trying new concealer combinations and I'm looking forward to trying this one. And this shade looks like it's going to be perfect for me right now. Sometimes I like more neutral concealers under my eyes. I feel like I do have a warm undertone, but anything too warm or peachy under my eyes tends to just like pop off my face and look super makeup-y. So I do prefer more of a neutral color. And then this is the Cloud Set. That's right, everyone, I'm finally trying a new powder. <laughs> it's a miracle. This is the Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder and I got the shade Breezy. So this is an ultra soft sheer setting and smoothing powder baked with skincare actives that helps minimize shine and the appearance of pores. It's supposed to have a unique airy texture and I believe it's supposed to tone down excessive shine but I can't get it out of the box. Not the natural glow if you know what I mean. Mm. This packaging is gorgeous. I wish it was some kind of a refillable thing. So this is a bit of a lighter color. Uh, I usually just get lighter setting powders though because the majority of the time I'm just setting like in the center of my face where I want it to be like a touch brighter. Already that looks really pretty. Again, it just subtly tones down shine, gives a little bit of a blurring effect. That one looks really nice. What a lovely name for a powder too, Cloud Set. Then I also got the Kosas Brow Pop, the Dual Action Defining Pencil in the shade Honey Blonde. I was really excited to see that they had a shade like Honey Blonde because I feel like for years everybody always did these really cool tone brow shades and while a lot of people, that's a perfect color on a lot of people, I just have such warm undertones like my hair pull is really warm so a really gray like taupey cool brown eyebrow on me. I never felt like it looked right. It's amazing how Kosas managed to make what is normally a really boring type of product so fun and exciting. <laughs> like how adorable is this? Oh, I just love that so much. So that's gonna be, that's actually gonna be pretty precise. And it is a really warm honey blonde color, which is great. Usually in the summertime, I do like to lighten up my brow color and I feel like I can go for a warmer shade just because, I don't know, everything kind of changes <laughs> from season to season. But that looks like it's gonna be pretty nice. So, excited for that. Like, look how pretty this is. Just a couple other things. I also recently used up my Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint, so I wanted to get the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops Blurring Skin Tint. Again, this is way smaller than I expected it to be. I got shade four. I just really wanted to try it. Packaging is super cute. I guess one plus of it being smaller is that it is a skin tint, so you probably don't need that much of it, and it makes it easier to travel with. Oh, it's a bit thicker than I expected. It's definitely like a little pinker than I thought. 
it should be fine. It's actually like blurring right into my hand pretty well. And the thing about a skin tint, it's like if it's not exactly spot on color wise, you can just go in with a bronzer, mesh it all together. You know, you can use different techniques to make it work. And then I got the Rose Ink Blush Divine. I actually got the refill and didn't get the component because I just thought, I don't need this. I have plenty of other little like magnetic things I could probably put this in, but I didn't really think it through very, very far, but we'll figure it out. Uh, this is the Radiant Lip and Cheek Color. That is so pretty. Okay, I could just keep it in this little thing. I don't even care, that's fine. So this color looks incredibly beautiful. This is like a burnt, sunsetty, like bricky sienna. Oh, this is such a unique and pretty color. And honestly, I love the fact that it's called Foxglove. That's just so great for this brand too because I feel like that's the epitome of like an English cottage garden is having giant fox gloves everywhere and they get really big. So someday when I have a real backyard, I'm going to be planting fox gloves. This is a tangent. Oh wow, so that's like a thicker, pretty substantial cream. It doesn't glide, it's not like a super wet gel feel. It's a little bit thicker. Oh wow, that's really pretty. So it feels a lot like the Tower 28 cheek and lip colors. So to me, that feels like it's gonna be a really great hot weather cheek color because it's going to stick on and stick in place without being sticky. <laughs> if you catch my drift, that looks really, really pretty. Oh my goodness, absolutely stunning. And I'm definitely, I'm just gonna keep it in this little plastic thing. <laughs> I love discovering different kinds of cream blush formulas because there are so many different kinds. Some of them are lighter and more like gel-like and glidey and hydrating. Some are a bit thicker and tackier, but I feel like they also have their different benefits. Like this is definitely feels to me like a more long wearing formula with a bit more pigmentation. Sometimes other cream blushes that are super glowy and lighter and like feather light can be more sheer um, and just give a whisper of color. So it's fun to see. I don't know, I just love playing with cream blushes. That's why I did get two. I love the whole experience of using cream products, especially for me being in my 30s. I find applying cream products and cream cheek color just so satisfying. It just makes my skin come to life. And then the very last thing is this Tower 28 SOS Save Our Skin Daily Rescue Facial Spray. So this is supposed to be TLC for stressed out skin. Um, excuse me. Fragrance free, alcohol free, oil free, hypoallergenic. Use AM PM on freshly cleansed skin. Let dry before moisturizing. So this is supposed to be really great for angry skin, irritated skin. And the other thing is I wanted to share is that you don't always have to spray this directly on your face. Sometimes, like I don't really like doing that that much because I hate getting facial sprays and mist in my hair. You can always just apply it to a brush like this. A fan brush I think works really well because then you can just like sweep it right over and it gives pretty even coverage. Or you could try, you know, different brushes, whatever you think works best. But that's another option if you um, don't wanna just spritz your entire face down because some people like me don't really enjoy doing that all the time if my hair is on its like third day or fourth day and it has been washed in a while i don't really care but if i just blow dried it that day i'm not doing that um so i am excited to work this into my skincare oh i did forget i got this too guys okay i also got the tower 28 milky lip jelly in the shade coconut i love all of my Tower 28 glosses, so I was pretty certain that I would love this too. It's just a pretty, like, petally pink color, and it's the Milky formula, so it's gonna be a little bit more creamy. Ooh, well that's actually brighter than I thought, but I feel like this type of a color, if it were just a really flat color or overly pigmented, wouldn't really be my thing, but because these formulas are so hydrating and gel-like, they to go on a little differently and that's really pretty that is it for me and everything that I recently picked up I hope you enjoyed this and maybe a little inspiration for refreshing your makeup routine as well I love you guys so much thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next one bye